Southern Area Sewage Treatment Works SAST. The tour takes you through the wastewater treatment process at the Southern Area Sewage Treatment Works to showcase the journey involved in the treatment of wastewater. SAST is located at Kami in the western side of Bulawayo. There are two wastewater treatment works adjacent to each other, namely SAST 1 and SAST 2. SAST 1 has a treatment capacity of 6 megalitres per day, which has since been decommissioned due to the equipment having been eroded by the toxicity associated with sewer gas emissions, and SAST 2 has a design capacity of 21 megalitres per day. Domestic wastewater from Pumula, Nkulumane, Geta, M. Kanwini, and Kelvin North flows in through the inlet. The inlet comprises of a mechanically wrecked bar screen with manual bypass and mechanical grit removal system for both SAST-1 and SAST-2 plants. Domestic wastewater passes through the screening process which traps grit. From there, it passes through the grid channels that remove solid waste from the sewer water as well as allowing for the settling of grit in the form of sand and stones. The detritor machine and the grid pump removes the fine sand from the sewage water. The wastewater then moves past an inflow meter which monitors the volume of wastewater coming into the plant on a daily basis. The wastewater gravitates from the wastewater channel to the distribution box, from where it gravitates into the primary settlement tanks. From the two primary settlement tanks, the finer particles from the inlet settle at the bottom of the primary settlement tanks through gravity. From there, the effluent gravitates to the equalization basin. The equalization basin saves to overcome the operational problems, flow rate variations and to improve the performance of the downstream processes. In the equalization basin, there are three vertical shaft mixers to avoid solid in the wastewater to settle down. From there, the wastewater is pumped by two screw pumps to SAST-1 and SAST-2 bioreactors. The SAS-2 bioreactor has three segments where three different processes take place, namely the anaerobic, the anoxic and the aerobic processes. The anaerobic digestion process takes place at the inner segment where there is a collection of processes by which microorganisms break down biodegradable material in the absence of oxygen. The anoxic reaction takes place at the middle segment where microorganisms break down biodegradable material in the presence of minimum amount of oxygen. and the aerobic digestion takes place at the outer segment where microorganisms break down the biodegradable material using oxygen.
the effluent is then transferred to secondary settlement tanks, cylindrical clarifiers. This stage is called clarification and it is where small escaped particles that were in suspension and formed in the bioreactor settle at the bottom of the clarifier chambers through gravity. This leaves the top layers of the water within the clarifiers now clear. From here, the clear water is gravitated out of the flow meter that measures daily discharge, then to the maturation ponds for further treatment. The sludge is pumped from the bioreactor to the thickener facility, which it distributes to the sludge DAF, which is diffused air flotation, where it is mixed with raw water from the primary settlement tanks via the thickener facility and then pumped to the digesters. The DAF process serves to ease the transportation of the sludge, increase the solids concentration and decrease the free water. In this process, air is blown into the sludge from the bottom of the tanks, air particles attached to the suspended solid material. They enable the solid to break up and float to the surface. These suspended solids have a lower gravity than water when air bubbles attach to them that make them float. These particles form a blanket of sludge on the surface that you can remove and treat. From here, the sludge is pumped into the biodigesters for further treatment and thereafter, while the cleaned wastewater is pumped to the nearby Kami Dam. <laughs> 